In mathematics, the adjoint representation of a Lie group G is a way of representing the elements of the group as linear transformations of the group's Lie algebra, considered as a vector space. For example, in the case where G is the Lie group of invertible matrices of size n, GL, the Lie algebra is the vector space of all n by n matrices. So in this case the adjoint representation is the vector space of n by n matrices, and any element G and GL acts as a linear transformation of this vector space given by conjugation. For any Lie group, this natural representation is obtained by linearizing the action of G on itself by conjugation. The adjoint representation can be defined for linear algebraic groups over arbitrary fields. Definition Let G be a Lie group and let B its Lie algebra. Define the map where A U T is the automorphism group of G and the automorphism psi G is defined by for all H in G. The differential of psi G at the identity is an automorphism of the Lie algebra. We denote this map by A D G. To say that A D G is a Lie algebra automorphism is to say that A D G is a linear transformation of that preserves the Lie bracket. The map is called the adjoint representation of G. This is indeed a representation of G since is a closed Lie subgroup of and the above adjoint map is a Lie group homomorphism. Note add is a trivial map if G is abelian. If G is an Lie subgroup of the general linear group, then, since the exponential map is the matrix exponential, taking the derivative of a t equals 0, one gets for G and G and X in, where on the right we have the products of matrices. Adjoint representation of a Lie algebra 1 may always pass from a representation of a Lie group G to a representation of its Lie algebra by taking the derivative at the identity. Taking the derivative of the adjoint map gives the adjoint representation of the Lie algebra. Here is the Lie algebra of which may be identified with the derivation algebra of. The adjoint representation of a Lie algebra is related in a fundamental way to the structure of that algebra. In particular, one can show that for all examples. If G is abelian of dimension n, the adjoint representation of G is the trivial n-dimensional representation. If G is a matrix Lie group, then its Lie algebra is an algebra of n times n matrices with the commutator for a Lie bracket. In this case, the adjoint map is given by ADG equals GX G minus 1. If G is SL, the Lie algebra of G consists of real 2 times 2 matrices with trace 0. The representation is equivalent to that given by the action of G by linear substitution on the space of binary quadratic forms. Properties The following table summarizes the properties of the various maps mentioned in the definition the image of G under the adjoint representation is denoted by ADD. If G is connected, the kernel of the adjoint representation coincides with the kernel of psi which is just the center of G. Therefore the adjoint representation of a connected Lie group G is faithful if and only if G is centerless. More generally, if G is not connected, then the kernel of the adjoint map is the centralizer of the identity component G0 of G. By the first isomorphism theorem we have given a finite dimensional real Lie algebra. By Lie's third theorem, there is a connected Lie group whose Lie algebra is the image of the adjoint representation of it is called the adjoint group of. Now, if is the Lie algebra of a connected Lie group G, then is the image of the adjoint representation of G, roots of a semi-simple Lie group. If G is semi-simple, the non-zero weights of the adjoint representation form a root system. To see how this works, consider the case G equals SL. We can take the group of diagonal matrices diag as our maximal torus T. Conjugation by an element of T sends thus. T acts trivially on the diagonal part of the Lie algebra of G and with eigenvectors T i T j minus 1 on the various off-diagonal entries. The roots of G are the weights diag T i T j minus 1. 
This accounts for the standard description of the root system of G equals SLN as the set of vectors of the form A minus EJ. Example SL Let us compute the root system for one of the simplest cases of Lie groups. Let us consider the group SL of two-dimensional matrices with determinant 1. This consists of the set of matrices of the form, with A, B, C, D real and add minus B C equals 1, a maximal compact connected abelian Lie subgroup, or maximal torus T, is given by the subset of all matrices of the form with. The Lie algebra of the maximal torus is the Cartan subalgebra consisting of the matrices if we conjugate an element of SL by an element of the maximal torus we obtain the matrices of N eigenvectors of the conjugation operation with eigenvalues. The function lambda which gives is a multiplicative character or homomorphism from the group's torus to the underlying field R. The function lambda giving theta is a weight of the Lie algebra with weight space given by the span of the matrices. It is satisfying to show the multiplicativity of the character and the linearity of the weight. It can further be proved that the differential of lambda can be used to create a weight. It is also educational to consider the case of SL, variants and analogs. The adjoint representation can also be defined for algebraic groups over any field. The co-adjoint representation is the contragredient representation of the adjoint representation. Alexandra Kirillov observed that the orbit of any vector in a co-adjoint representation is a symplectic manifold. According to the philosophy in representation theory known as the orbit method, the irreducible representations of a Lie group G should be indexed in some way by its co-adjoint orbits. This relationship is closest in the case of nilpotent Lie groups.